method, our problem is going to be 35 times 74. Let's first examine this multiplication problem using the, the rectangle method. The rectangle method is a great example of using the distributive property. It's also an example of using a common model for a multiplication problem, the rectangle. To solve a multiplication problem using the rectangle method, you must first draw a rectangle. Then you label the dimensions of the rectangle. We will call the length 35 and the width 74 because those are the factors for our multiplication problem. We then distribute out the tens and the ones. 30 from 35 and 5 from 35. Then we divide our large rectangle into two smaller ones. One that has a length of 30 and another that has a length of 5. We need to further divide our larger rectangle by distributing our other dimension of 74. So let's distribute the 70 and the 4 across the top and then further divide our larger rectangle. We now have four rectangles. Each rectangle now has a new set of dimensions. And those dimensions come from our original problem. So the largest of the four rectangles has a dimension of 30 and 70. The one near the bottom has dimensions of 5 and 70. The top right rectangle has dimensions of 30 and 4 and the bottom right rectangle has dimensions of 5 and 4. We now need to multiply these dimensions together. We have four multiplication problems that we need to solve in order to finish the rectangle method. These multiplication problems should appear simpler than the multiplication problem 35 times 74. They require only an understanding of place value, math facts, and counting zeros. Let's take a look at how this works. For example, 30 times 70. The math fact within that problem is 3 times 7, the answer to which is 21. There are two zeros in 30 times 70, so we'll add them, giving us a total of 2,100. Let's look at the other rectangle. 30 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. One zero, add it for a total of 120. Now, for 5 times 70, the multiplication fact is 5 times 7, the answer to which is 35. There's one zero in 5 times 70, so we'll add that for a total of 350. 5 times 4 is a math fact all on its own. We should know that 5 times 4 is 20. Now, I have solved all of the products of my smaller rectangles. I still don't know what 35 times 74 is. What I need to do is take the smaller rectangles and put them together. If I put them together, I will have the total for the entire rectangle, which is represented by 35 times 74. So all I need to do is add the totals of my smaller rectangles. The zeros in the one place are zero. Five plus two plus two is nine. One plus three plus one is five. And two plus nothing is two. The answer to 35 times 74 is 2,590. This time we'll use the lattice method. Similarly to the rectangle method, the lattice method requires you to draw a shape. We'll call this shape our box. We label the box by our dimensions in the multiplication problem. 74 will go across the top with the largest place value near the left. 35 will go along the side with the largest place value near the top. We then need to divide our place values. So for 74, we divide the seven tens from the four ones, and for 35, 
we divide the three tenths from the five ones. Once we have a column for each place value of the top number and a row for each place value of the side number, we need to divide each of our new spaces diagonally. You extend the diagonals out of the box. Now, we look for intersections of place values. For instance, there's an intersection of 4 times 3 in the top right of our lattice. 4 times 3 is 12 and I record my answer like this. The 1 from the 10 in 12 goes on top of the diagonal and the 2 from the 1's in 12 goes beneath the diagonal. The next intersection is 7 in 3. 7 times 3 is 21 and I will record my answer like this. Two tens above the diagonal and one one below the diagonal. The next space has an intersection of four times five. Record your answer like this. Two tens above the diagonal and a zero or zero ones below the diagonal. The final space is an intersection of seven times five. 35 is three tens above the diagonal and five ones below the diagonal. Now I need to put all of my place values together. Each diagonal ap actually represents a place value of my answer. So if we look in the far bottom right of the lattice, we see zero, and zero has nothing else within its diagonal, so the answer is zero. The next diagonal contains two, two, and five. The sum of 2, 2, and 5 are 9. The next diagonal contains 1, 1, and 3, the sum of which are 5. The final diagonal, you see a 2 by itself. Therefore, the 2 just slides down the diagonal. Now, we're quite close to having an answer at this point. To complete the lattice method, we look at the numbers on the outside, the numbers we just added. That is basically just like a crooked answer. Let's straighten it out. The two is our thousands. The five is our hundreds. The nine is our tens. And the zero is our ones. 2,590 is the answer to 35 times 74. When I was in fourth grade, this is how I learned to multiply multiplication problems that had factors with multiple digits first thing you need to do is set up the algorithm. I place 74 on the top and 35 underneath. I prefer to place the larger factor on top. This is a multiplication problem, so I'll go ahead and put the symbol for multiplication next to the 35. I then begin multiplying by taking the 5 from 35 and multiplying it times the 4 from 74. The answer is 20. I place the 0 under the line and regroup the 2 above the 7. I then multiply the 5 from 35 times the 7 from 74, get an answer of 35, and I add my 2 from the regrouping, which makes a total of 37. I'm going to move on to the 10s, or the 3 from 35. Before I do that, I need to place, I want to cross off my 2 from regrouping so I don't try and regroup it when I'm multiplying the tens. In addition to that, since I'm multiplying by tens, I need to hold a place in the ones with a zero. Now I may begin multiplying. The 3 from 35 times the 4 from 74 is 12. I'll place the 2 underneath the 7 and I'll place the 1 from 12 or the 110 above with regrouping. I then multiply the 3 from 35 times the 7 from 74, which is a total of 21, add the 1 from regrouping, and I get 22. The final step for the traditional method is to add my 370 plus my 2220. When I do that, 0 plus 0 is 0, 7 plus 2 is 9, 3 plus 2 is 5, and 2 plus nothing is 2. The answer to 35 times 74 is 2,590.